वेलकम टू एजुकेशनल चैनल ऑफ सुरेश भट्ट क्लासेस क्वांटिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड वीडियो ऑन एलिगेशन एंड मिक्सचर आई एम गोइंग टू कवर कंप्लीट टॉपिक सॉल्विंग ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चंस आस्ड इन वेरियस कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स एंड प्लेसमेंट इंटरव्यूज प्लीज वॉच टिल द एंड एज एवरी क्वेश्चन इज ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप एंड सॉल्व विथ कन्वेंशनल मैथड टू क्लियर दी कॉन्सेप्ट एज वेल एज शॉर्टकट मैथड let us start first part of topic allegation and mixture as per rule when two substances are mixed substance a of price rupees a per kg is mixed with substance b of price rupees b per kg where a is less than b to get a mixture of mean price rupee m per kg then the ratio of quantity of a and b is given by quantity of a upon quantity of b equal to cost price of b minus mean price upon mean price minus cost price of a this is equal to b minus m upon m minus a we understand this formula and rule of allegation by this diagram we write cost price of a rupees a per kg and cost price of b which is rupees b per kg and we write required mean price of mixture which is rupees m per kg now we subtract the mean price from cost price of b that is b minus m and write it again we subtract cost price of a rupee a per kg from mean price m that is m minus a and we write it on the right side this gives b minus m and m minus a and this is our solution to the given question that is quantity ratio of a ratio b equal to b minus m ratio m minus a and we further simplify it if something is common in it we understand this rule by solving few questions we solve the first question in what ratio rice a of price rupees 35 per kg be mixed with rice b of price rupees 55 per kg so that the mixture is of price rupees 40 per kg we just apply the allegation rule and solve it and as per the rule the lower price we have to put on the left hand side so we write lower price 35 and higher price 55 and the mean price given to us is 40 so 55 minus 40 is 15 and 40 minus 35 is 5 so the ratio of a and b ratio a ratio b is 15 ratio 5 this is equal to 3 ratio 1 if we divide both the numbers by 5 we get 3 ratio 1 so our answer to this question is that the rice a and rice b should be mixed in the ratio 3 ratio 1 to get the required answer the next question is a trader has two varieties of palm oil variety 1 is of rate rupees 120 per kg and variety 2 is of rate rupees 160 per kg in what ratio he should mix these to get the oil of rupees 144 per kg we use the rule of allegation and solve it we put the lower price on left side which is 120 and higher price on right side which is 160 now the mean price given to us is 144 so we write 144 now we subtract 144 from 160 and we get 16 and subtract 120 from 144 and we get 
सो वैरायटी वन रेशो वैरायटी टू इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन रेशो ट्वेंटी फोर ऑन डिवाइडिंग दीज टू नंबर्स बाय एट वी गेट टू रेशो थ्री एंड दिस इज आवर आंसर आवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इन व्हाट रेशो कॉपर ऑफ प्राइस रुपीज सेवन हंड्रेड फाइव पर के जी बी मिक्सड विथ जिंक ऑफ प्राइस रुपीज टू हंड्रेड थर्टी सेवन पर के जी टू मेक एन अलॉय ऑफ प्राइस रुपीज फाइव हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव पर के जी बाय यूजिंग द एलिगेशन रूल वी पुट द प्राइसेस द जिंक इज एट लोअर रेट सो वी पुट ऑन लेफ्ट साइड विच इज टू हंड्रेड थर्टी सेवन and copper is of higher rate so we put on right side and that is the rate is 705 and the mean price of the alloy which is 525 so we put the 525 as the mean price and now we subtract 525 from 705 and we get 180 and we subtract 237 from 525 and we get 288 so zinc ratio copper is 180 ratio 288 both are divisible by 36 36 divides 180 for 5 times and 36 divides 288 for 8 times so our ratio for zinc and copper comes out to be 5 ratio 8 and the alloy by mixing the zinc and copper we get and the name of that alloy is brass our question is in what ratio 65% ethanol be mixed with 75% ethanol to obtain 72% ethanol it's a very easy question it doesn't make any difference if it is given in percentage form and we use our allegation rule we write 65 on left side and 75 on right side and the mean value which is given 72% we write 72 now 75 minus 72 is 3 and 72 minus 65 is 7 so our answer for this question is 3 ratio 7 so we have to mix 65% solution with 75% solution in the ratio 3 ratio 7 and this is the answer to this question our question is vessel a and b contain mixture of milk and water in the ratio 4 ratio 3 and 11 ratio 3 respectively in what ratio these two be mixed to obtain a mixture of milk and water in the ratio 9 ratio 5 in a milk ratio water is 4 ratio 3 and in b milk ratio water is 11 ratio 3 so milk and water contained in the total solution is 4 upon 7 and 3 upon 7 in the vessel a the milk is 4 upon 7 and water contained is 3 upon 7 in the total solution as 4 plus 3 is 7 so 4 part in 7 part is milk and 3 part in 7 part is water similarly in vessel b the milk contained is 11 upon 14 11 plus 3 is 14 so 11 part is milk in 14 part of total solution and 3 part of water is in 14 part of total solution now we require milk ratio water is 9 ratio 5 that is our requirement is 9 part of milk out of 14 part 9 plus 5 is 14 and 5 part of water in 14 part of total solution now we have all the data 
and now we can solve this question by our allegation rule so we take milk either we can take milk or water and we can solve so we take milk 4 upon 7 and 11 upon 14 in vessel a the milk content is 4 upon 7 and in vessel b the milk content is 11 upon 14 and in the resultant mixture we need the milk content 9 in 14 parts on subtracting 9 upon 14 from 11 upon 14 we get 2 upon 14 and subtracting 4 upon 7 from 9 upon 14 so we get if we take the LCM of 7 and 14 we get 14 so 4 upon 7 will become 8 upon 14 and when 8 upon 14 is subtracted from 9 upon 14 we get 1 upon 14 so here we get the vessel A ratio vessel B as 2 upon 14 ratio 1 upon 14 this is nothing else but 2 ratio 1 so we should take 2 parts from vessel 1 and 1 part from vessel 2 to get the required mixture of water and milk where milk and water are in the ratio 9 ratio 5 this we could have solved by taking water as well instead of milk so we solve like this in first vessel there is 3 part out of 7 part of water so we write 3 upon 7 and in vessel 2 there are 3 part out of 14 parts so we write 3 upon 14 and our mean is 5 upon 14 of water so we subtract 3 upon 14 from 5 upon 14 and we get 2 upon 14 and LCM of 7 and 14 is 14 so 3 upon 7 becomes 6 upon 14 and on subtracting 5 upon 14 from 6 upon 14 we get 1 upon 14 again we get the same number 2 upon 14 and 1 upon 14 as we got in the part where we were solving it by milk so 2 upon 14 ratio 1 upon 14 is nothing else but 2 ratio 1 so we can take either milk or water and we are going to get the same answer when two mixtures are given and their ratios are given then we have to solve like this we have to take any one part whether milk as given in this question or water we take any one thing and we can solve this question here completes this part of the video please watch all the parts to understand the complete topic please like it share it among your friends who are preparing for the competitive exams don't forget to subscribe this channel also press bell icon to get the latest notifications